from what I saw on the show, your your foster parents are very proud of, of the yeah. whole situation. How mm. have, have they been in your life for a long time? Um, yeah, they're my foster auntie and uncle, and um, yeah, oh, okay. I've known um, Auntie Marilyn since I was four. Wow, and she met Uncle Frank. Like when I was like eight and yeah, um, they were through an aunties and uncles club. My mum used them as respite when I was a young, young, young kid. Yeah. Um, then when I hit 12 and went into docs care and all this sort of stuff, um, they were qualified sort of foster carers. So they were able to take me once a week for respite and all that sort of stuff. So okay. I spent a lot of my life with them. And then uncle Frank taught me how to play guitar. And oh, all right. How old were you when you started? What age was that? About 13, 14. And when did you realize that you had this voice? Oh, I don't know. It just kind of like happened over a year i just started singing and at school then, or what? no 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 just at home um i grew up in a very musical family anyway but um was always really shy as a kid but then um just slowly started well i'm, I'm just reading in i don't even know what magazine this is <laughs> <laughs> okay in well, okay you, well you're in every magazine now as well <laughs> and, and it says here that you battled agoraphobia Agoraphobia. And what agoraphobia is it? <laughs> yeah. I, you know, I, I said to Kip, what is that? And he said he thinks it's a fear of spiders or something. <laughs> I, 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 know, exactly. I thought it was a fear of small people. He said I thought it was a fear of little people. I thought you were afraid of midgets, but what are, what are you afraid of? We're all going to stand uh, no. on our tippy toes just in case we freak you out. <laughs> no, well, that was when I was like 11 or 12. I haven't been to school since I was about yeah, 11 or 12 years old. And um, then I just... Agoraphobia is like social phobia. Like I didn't walk outside the house for nearly six to eight months, and um, wow. was just, just being in crowds. And yeah, being in crowds, and I was wow. just like one of those paranoid, like paranoid, and didn't want to go out and so, all this sort of stuff. So today, when you're at um, Westfield Chermside at uh, at mm -hmm. midday, yeah, are you going to be feeling weird? <laughs> no, no, I'm <laughs> no. totally over it now. Okay, yeah. they, they, they say there's this research that people that have those fears, like those kind of fears, when they're young, it's not it's not abnormal for them to go into careers that actually fly in the face of that fear mm. Mm. the opposite instance, playing in front of crowds yeah, 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 which well. is, it seems strange but that's a, I guess mm. you, that's the way at some stage you face that fear and you move on yeah exactly hey Carice uh, for your very first song when you auditioned for The Voice mm -hmm. or be, before I get into that have you auditioned for any other like no. Australian or nothing before no, no. so for your first audition for The Voice when the, the one that we didn't get to see yeah. what song did you sing it's a man's world yeah, exactly the same right. yeah, exactly yeah. the same yeah yeah, yeah. Yeah. And did you know that you nailed it and that you're like, <laughs> you right, know, right no. from the get-go? No. Well, I, I guess my, my thing behind that song was it had such a big vocal intro. It's such I a thought, great I yeah. want to catch people's attention, yeah. you know, and well, I did. Can you, like, can you just do that bit now? <laughs> I'll say, this is a man's world. There we go. <laughs> what a talent. That's so cool. Yeah. Like, oh, actually, Ash wrong. looked at me then and... Like part of him was happy, and then there was a part of him that hated you. Because <laughs> <Yeah. laughs> he wants to sing he so bad. I can't <laughs> sing. I think it's the greatest injustice of the world that I can't <laughs> sing. And no, I admire talent like that. I'm so I'm envious. I'm surprised of it. they did that this early in the morning. Yeah, yeah, I was, how did you pull that out? Awesome. Wow. Hey, uh, Tongzi's in here filming as well. This will be up on the Nova website yeah. uh, today. What is what's that made out of? That giant jacket you wear. You look like a Wookiee in that oh. thing. It's <laughs> I don't know. I, I um the the it's lovely. My my friend let me borrow it because it's rainy up here. It is it is quite cold. Now you're here today, and uh, for those who can't get out to Chermside, we should say as well that next Wednesday, Fourth of July, you'll be at Garden City Shopping Centre as well. So mm -hmm. on the other side of town, you're here for a week. Oh so no no no, no I'm going, going back and coming right. back. So you'll be here Origin uh, time next, but you're not yeah. singing the anthem though at the Origin. <laughs> um, oh, that would have been cool. I think you should be. I think I'm singing something there. But oh, you're well, right. oh great. Okay, well that answers our question. Well, you yeah. know, even well, if you don't, I don't know for sure yet, but even if you don't like football, which just doesn't sound like you, you yeah, care no, much about Origin, no. but like the, the the stadium, if you are singing at Origin, and we'll try and confirm that, but uh, mm -hmm. if you ask, it's, it's going to be, it'll be one of the more special. Well, I would moments, imagine yeah. moments Events. you oh, yeah. of to sing it because it's an incredible stadium. It'll be packed. Mm. Maybe 60,000 people yeah. and two and a half million You'll, people watching on television. Yeah, you'll oh, love yeah. it. Oh, yeah. You know, don't be nervous. How's <laughs> 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 that agoraphobia going yeah. for you? <laughs>